Watch. Diddy announces Travis Scott will perform at BBMA's 2022. It's time to put a few Hamptons housemates in the hot seat. Part 1 of the Summer House Season 6 reunion aired May 9, and it's safe to say that watching the cast rehash this year's drama was just as entertaining as the drama itself. Grab a lover boy and read on for the reunion's wildest moments, featuring Kyle Cook, Amanda Batula, Lindsay Hubbard, Carl Radke, Danielle Oliveira, Paige DeSorbo, Luke Gulbranson, Sierra Miller, Maya Allen, Alex Walk and Andrea Denver. Hot Hub's Summer, explained. Lindsay embraced the single life all summer, leaving some, Amanda, concerned that she was acting out of character because of a deeper issue in others. Paige and Sierra, eager to express their negative opinions behind her back. Thankfully, the only person who should weigh in, Lindsay, did so at the reunion. Opening up about the miscarriage she had just before this season of Summer House. I've shared everything in my life with this show for the last six years and if I could help one person out there, I was gonna do that, Lindsay said. My, summer almost went, in, a completely different direction. I went into the summer just automatically knowing I needed to do something different. Instead of, getting attached to one person, I wanted to date as many people as possible. Paige addressed her brothel comment. Shortly after the group insisted that nobody was slut-shaming Lindsay, Paige's comment about Lindsay acting like she lived in a brothel came up. Though, Paige admitted that was a harsh word, she insisted that she was referring to the situation with Southern Charm's Austin Kroll, who was in a love triangle with Lindsay and Sierra this summer. It had to do with you claiming you liked Austin the night before, Paige said, and then obviously not, because you brought home a guy that same night. Luke came for Paige. Paige chastising Lindsay for flip-flopping on Austin didn't sit right with Luke, and he accused her of doing the same thing with Andrea and Craig Conover. Paige said the situation. She had a fling with Andrea on Winter House but ultimately opted to pursue a relationship with Craig, wasn't comparable because she was not sleeping with Andrea over the summer. Lindsay then added, I haven't slept with Austin for over four years. The Austin of it all. Despite not even starring on the show, Austin managed to be a main character this season after making out with Lindsay on her birthday even though Sierra had feelings for him. There's no denying his role in the mess, but the cast couldn't seem to agree about Lindsay's involvement and or whether Sierra's anger toward her was justified, especially considering that, as host Andy Cohen pointed out, Sierra pulled a similar move on Winter House. Lindsay insisted that she didn't intend to hook up with Austin in front of Sierra but, after some prodding from Amanda, eventually apologized for hurting her feelings. Perhaps Alex said it best. I don't understand why all the anger is going toward each of you when going back to watch it, he gets nothing. I don't understand why you're fighting so much for literally, like, the Honda Civic of male attractiveness. Paige broke down her beef with Lindsay. After Andy pointed out that Paige was avoiding making eye contact with Lindsay, Paige provided some insight into why there's so much tension between the two. I am just uncomfortable, she said. I feel like there's clearly a divide. When you come in as a new person, it's very hard to get into the group that was here first season. My first season, when I walked into the kitchen and I felt the energy between Lindsay, Danielle and Amanda, it was stifling, added Paige, who joined summer house in the show's third season there's very much a hierarchy and neither of them really talked to me i naturally gravitated toward amanda and then as the seasons went on and i saw new girls coming in it's not really a coincidence that they always end up hanging out with us they are very hard to lingering emotions over the wine glass toss the austin situation led to things getting physical during one argument when sierra threw a wine glass at danielle at the reunion, she admitted it was a huge mistake. I let my emotions get the best of me, but that's not an excuse and I should not have, Sierra said. I was just so over being dismissed in disregarded in this house, and the point of the conversation was to actually have a conversation, but, Lindsay actually had the smuggest of smug looks on her face as if I didn't even f king matter. And then Danielle getting involved. Danielle insisted she wasn't even trying to come at Sierra, though. 
It escalated to the most ugly of places that I could ever imagine, she said, getting emotional. We should never get to that F king point ever, not as women, not as people of color, over a F king stupid idiot guy. Watching that back has been the toughest, Danielle added. I just really wish you would have texted me. Sierra acknowledged that she should have indeed reached out but was worried Danielle wouldn't be receptive. Unfortunately, as a result, because so much time has gonna be, Danielle said, I've developed so much hatred in me for you. Cue the cliffhanger ending. Part 2 of the Summer House Season 6 reunion airs Monday, May 16th at 9 p.m. on Bravo. E and Bravo are both part of the NBC Universal family.